Is it not written in your law that ye are gods? You understand what I'm saying? So it just depends on what level you own based on, uh, or what level you own based on uh, whether you're human or whether you're immortal. At AIDS, it's your boy Soul Immortal. Stop thinking of a God and start thinking as a God, right? Now I've said that a number of times on, on, on a few different platforms over the last year or so, right? And every time I say it, I'll get a different response. Some some brothers will simply say, oh, so that's, that's straight blasphemy. Like how dare you say such a thing, right? Some people will watch the video or whatever and, and give it a thumbs down. Some people will unfollow. And I understand that. I take that as raw energy. I don't I don't take that as a good or bad thing. I take it as simply people disagreeing with what I'm saying and choose to, you know, leave the form, right? But again, I take it as raw energy, right? I, I appreciate people viewing. I, I'm thankful for it. But what does it mean to, to stop thinking of a God, start thinking as one, right? You know, there are different ways you, you can approach that, man. You know, one way to do, to do that is, is to simply be a, be a man that studies to show himself approved, right? There are a million and one books, right, out there, right? There are books that I read all the time. The Master Key System, Out With The Devil, The Bible, The Quran, The Torah. There are a million and one books that show us how, how those before us thought, show us how those before us moved. And if it resonates with, with the God inside of us, then, then it's uh, it's uh, it's valuable to us to, to move in that same same fashion, right? You know, so studying to show ourselves approved is one way. Two is we can simply live our lives as martyrs, right? I mean, we, we can look at all the books of old. You know, we can look at the Bible. We can look at we can look at the lives of the disciples after after they departed the messenger, right? A lot of these brothers, brother, were, were beheaded and, and thrown off cliffs and, 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 and whatnot, right? Based on their belief. In other words, when men move move through this world with so with so uh little to no fear that they're willing to lose their lives behind their belief, right? And if you're moving like that, brother, brother, you, you you're moving in a God mindset. If you have no fear and you moving on your principles. Brother, you're moving like a guy. You're conducting yourself like a guy. But the third, the third way, right? And uh, I gotta pause and give a shout out, man, to the brothers in the in the power circle, man. We went in on this last night, brother, coming out of uh, coming out of the Kabbalion, studying Hermetic principles, right, or her Hermetic philosophy, and, and went in on this thing, brothers. The third thing, the third way to start conducting yourself and start acting as a God is simply to understand what God is. It's simply to understand what God is. See, what when the Bible talks about, when the Bible talks up talks about there being a point in time where where where, where things were void, you have to understand that that means things were void of physical manifestations. Things were void of trees and homes and cars and, and but you have to understand that that the true essence of God has always existed. You know what I'm saying? Like that always was there. You know, you have to understand, you know, we when you're talking about understanding what God is, you have to understand that that this energy we're talking about has always existed, can never die, can't can, can be measured by any space or time. It just is, right? So we talked about that last night, right? Then we got into the to, to the topic of what matter was on this planet. You know, when we think about the things that we see, right? We think about, you know, the homes we live in, the cars we drive, the, the, the phones we use. We have to understand that these things are simply, and this is how the Kabbalion put it, simply interruptions in this raw energy, in this God energy. You know what I'm saying? We have to understand that these things really aren't real. I mean, you can get any microscope and break these down to break these things down to, to, to atoms and see that they're really uh, uh, empty once you get to the nuts and bolts of them. 
we have to understand that all things that we see in this world, physical things, you know, you know, have a life, have a have a, a lifespan. They aren't constant like the all, right? Have a lifespan. Either they're just born, they're, they're reaching their their, their 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 climax, or they're on the downfall, going toward death, right? And then we talked about we talked about how you know of all the generations, of all the the, the places on the globe, of all the eras, you know, in time. You know, people always try to put a label to this God energy, right? And we call it God. We call it Allah. We call it, you know, a million and one different names, right? It says, but, but it's safe to say that all people of all time can simply come to conclusion or come to the agreement, rather, that we can refer to this thing as the all. In other words, in other words, it's always existed. There's nothing outside of it. There's nothing that it reports to. It's everything. It's everything in existence, right? So, so going back to the question, you know, like how do we start thinking as gods as opposed to of God? But we, we, we simply have to go back to the beginning. We simply have to come to the conclusion that we were made in its image, in its likeness, and actually of it. In other, in other words, we are part of it. So what I'm saying in a nutshell is the, is the quickest way to understand or the quickest way to get to the frequency of starting to think as a God as opposed to of a God, but this is simple. The same way we look at the things of this world, the same way we look at, again, the phones we use, the, the cars we drive, the places we live, all the things we manifest. The same way we look at these things as being created by the source of the godness around it, brothers, we have to look at our physical existence in that same manner. Going back to what I always talk about, in order to create a thing, we know the process, you've seen the recipe. There are steps to creating a thing. Wallace Waddle said, we're, tap we're tapping into this thinking stuff. Wallace said, we're, we're tapping into this stuff around it. In other words, he says, wherever you see a thing at, wherever you see trees and bushes and birds, Anything outside of that is, is this thinking stuff, is this God essence, is this substance, right? We have to understand, we have to understand that our physical bodies are just as much as a manifestation as the things that we create while in this world. I'm gonna say it again. We gotta understand that our physical bodies are, are, are nothing more special than the things we see around us. You know what I'm saying? And what that does is that separates your true identity from what you see and feel. So you, you think this physical existence, this, this, this third dimension life is reality when it's not. It's simply a disruption in the, in, in the, uh, in the energy. It's, it's simply interrupted energy, right? And once you do that, guys, it simply, it, it, it separates you. It lets you know that, well, if this is not me, if this is just something that I created, then who am I? What am I? And you go back to the beginning. We were created in the image, in the likeness, and of the substance of that thing. So in order to start, th in order to start thinking as a God and stop thinking of a God, you just have to simply understand that you are part of the all. You know what I'm saying? You are the all. Our truest existence, our, who we really are, is a portion of the all. Th this experience we're, we're, we're going through right now is simply a manifestation of our thoughts from being the all. So guys, you really can't, the thing is, you really can't, you really can't not think as a God because you are a God. It's, the thing is, you just have to become conscious of thinking, of knowing that you are a God. I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it again because suddenly calling, trying to sell something, it interrupted me. The quickest way to get to the point where you're no longer thinking of a God and you're thinking as a God is simply to understand that you've never not been a God. It's simply to understand that this world that we're living in, this physical human experience is simply an interruption in the true energy. It's actual quotes. 
that you probably never even heard before. He, he said that, that Henry Ford was aware of it, all of them were aware of it. This is the secret inner teaching that, they, that, that, that Napoleon Hill was not necessarily able to give out. This is one of the things that's missing from the secret. You are actually a broadcast tower that's broadcasting energy into the universe. And you wonder why you get the results you get and, and the people show up in your life because it's what you're broadcasting. The thing, it took me the longest, I, you know, when things weren't going my way, I was like, you know what? There's something I'm not doing. And I was trying to figure out what that thing was. I, I would go to these books and say, you know what? What am I not doing? What, what do these people know? That, that I don't know. What, what do I see people that are succeeding? Like, what do they know that I don't know? 